Hello friends, welcome back to our channel on statistics. So in the previous part, we saw the introduction to hidden Marco model. Okay, so we discussed this example. So regarding rainy, sunny or cloudy. So we are expanding that same example with algorithms. So we have mainly three algorithms. One is forward backward algorithm. Second one is vector B algorithm. Third one is Bohma Welch algorithm. So forward forward backward algorithm we use it for likelihood evaluation. Okay, means I will tell you in the problem. So next by using the vector P algorithm we can find the hidden pattern we can say. So by Bohma Welch algorithm we can estimate the parameters. So, okay. So now we see the example we are, I am writing again that uh, uh, transition diagram here. So we have a start, next we have three states. So rainy, next we have sunny, cloudy. So initial prob I will denote probabilities later. So again I have three. So, umbrella, woolen cloth, ice cream. So, again, here also umbrella, woolen cloth, ice cream. So, arrow marks are important. Next, we have hidden pattern also is there. Okay, this is our diagram based on the previous lecture, this matrix. So this is hidden matrix. This is emission matrix. Okay. So I am writing values also here. So we have hidden patterns 1 by 3, 1 by 3, 1 by 3. These are the initial probabilities. So then we have hidden from rainy to rainy there is a chance 0 0.5 so rainy to sunny is 0 0.3 then rainy to cloud is 0 0.2 so next we have sunny sunny to rainy is 0 0.3 then sunny to sunny is 0 0.5 so sunny to cloud is 0 0.2 so again cloudy to cloudy, cloudy to sunny is 0 0.5. So next we have here 0 0.2, 0 0.3. Okay, these are hidden patterns from the diag from that matrix you can write easily. So next we have these uh, emission probabilities per uh, rainy. We have 0 0.7, 0 0.2, 0 0.1. So for sunny 0 0.3, 0 0.6, 0 0.1. So here 0 0.1, 0 0.3, 0 0.6. So th this all we discussed yesterday. So now I am I want to know the one sequence. So I am writing here one sequence y equal to w i u w i. See woolen clots ice cream umbrella woolen class ice cream i want to know that this sequence probability okay i can say if i want to know that the sequence of this probability by by using forward or backward algorithm i can find this else by using so forward backward by using vector b algorithm we can find the hidden patterns if i want to know the uh, uh, will uh, Woolen class when I am using whether it is rainy or sunny or cloudy. So if I want to know the, these things, then I can use vector algorithm. If I want to know the probability of these states, then I can go for forward backward algorithms. Okay, very simple example. So now I am explaining that algorithm. If you if you find the general, for example, if I want to know the probability of W given, I given, U given, W, I want to know this probability. 
see here total uh, five five visible states are there so total three hidden hidden states are there so total three power five this much means formula is m power l so this much calculate means summations you need to do if you do manually so that's why we are going for algorithm so algorithm will be very simple algorithm see i will explain here first we will draw a miss simple diagram so i have a volan clots so hi then i have u umbrella again volan clots i so if you understand the first one then you can do easily all these things okay so next we have how many states we have three hidden states are there so i am mentioning that three hidden states are r r r r so next we have sunny 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 so next we have cloudy 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 okay so this is my example diagram so next we have so again we have here or sunny cloudy okay first we will write, write like this next write here initial probabilities forward exam forward algorithm always start with initial probabilities backward algorithm always start with one okay remember that one so in forward algorithm we are starting with initial probabilities we all are know that initial probability here is one by three one by three so here also one by three so next so by observing the a uh, hidden diagram means hidden matrix we are writing here r to her rainy to sunny rainy to cloudy so again same thing sunny to rainy sunny to sunny sunny to cloudy so cloudy to rainy cloudy to sunny cloudy to cloudy okay so next again emission probabilities so for overall class what is the chance for rainy what is yes so what about c okay so this arrow mark speaks everything so now you can find easily so first we write probabilities also here rainy to rainy probabilities again so here rainy to rainy probability is 0 0.5 next rainy to sunny is 0 0.3 from the diagram i am writing these probabilities then rainy to cloudy we have 0 0.2 so again sunny to rainy 0 0.3 sunny to sunny is 0 0.5 sunny to cloudy is 0 0.2 okay next we have cloudy to rain cloudy to rainy is 0 0.5 so i am writing here 0 0.5 then cloudy to sunny is 0 0.3 cloudy to cloudy is 0 0.2 so next we have emission probability is for rain even we have umbrella 0 0.7 sunny when you have sorry volan class for volan class it is 0 0.2 so it is very important so 0 0.2 for sunny woolen clouds is 0 0.6 for cloudy it is 0 0.3 okay so if you note down like this now it is almost problem is over so first we find this value first we find this uh, rainy value then we find sunny value then we find this uh, cloudy value then we go for direct final value so how we can calculate see first i want to know r value so how i can get see here here i am saying that zero here already r is initial is 1 by 3 so 1 by 3 into so rainy to rainy is 0 0.5 0 0.5 into so rainy to one class is 0 0.2 0 0.2 plus so again chances will be there from 5 to uh, means uh, sunny to rainy rainy to one class so right write down the that probability also 1 by 3 1 by 3 plus sunny to rainy 0 0.3 into so again rainy to one class is 0 0.2 0 0.2 plus 
सो हम लास्ट प्रॉबल लास्ट चांस जी वन बाय थ्री प्लस सो दिस वैल्यू इज जीरो पॉइंट फाइव जन जीरो पॉइंट टू जीरो पॉइंट फाइव इंटू जीरो पॉइंट टू सो इफ आई कैलकुलेट दिस वैल्यू आई विल गेट अप्रोक्सीमेटली वन बाय थ्री into zero point five into zero point two plus one by three into point three into point two plus one by three into point five into point two. So this value is zero point one three six seven. Okay, I am writing this value as a zero point one three six seven. So I can use this value. So this value is zero point one three six seven. Okay, this value is zero point one three six seven. So like this, I can find for S value also, C value also. I will get some values here. Okay, if I sum these three probabilities, then it is the probability of this value. Means probability of W. Okay, similarly probability of I also. Similarly, probability of U also, probability of W also, probability of I also. Same procedure. Then, so if you sum these values, then you will get the uh, probability of this sequence. So, if we this is the forward algorithm. If it is backward, same procedure will do. Here, initial starts with one. Okay, here initial starts with one. So, remaining process is same. Then we have the sorry. Then we have Viterbi algorithm, right? Viterbi. So what Viterbi algorithm says? It is also again simple example. See, for example, we are getting here zero point one three six seven. So here we I am getting zero point two one. So here I am getting zero point zero two. So maximum of these three is what? So this one. So this is the hidden hidden pattern from W. This is the hidden from this. I am for example I get here hidden. Means it is the maximum probability, so like this. So I am finding some pattern here. So I am randomly clicking here, but we need to calculate each and every state probability. If we calculate this each and every state probability, then we will get the hidden patterns. Okay. See, if I want to know the again this probability. So what I will do? Same thing I will do, but I no need to do uh, calculation from here. I use a direct this value. This value zero point one three six seven multiplied by r to r r to i. So that value will be the plus again this value. Whatever this value here, this here, it will come summation. So like this, you need to calculate. Otherwise, we can use nowadays programming is available. So next class we see how to do in Python on R Studio. Okay. So this is as manually it is little bit difficult. If it is two states are there, it is very simple. So we take a starting example as three states. So little bit confusion will be there. If you have any doubts, you can contact us. We will try to explain. Okay. So in the next class we will see that EM algorithm technique. Then Baumovich. Okay, if we discuss these three algorithm, these two algorithms, then almost our means header Markov model topic is over. Okay, then we move to the means in software how we can do in R Studio, how we can do in Python. Okay, so so if you have any doubts, you can contact us. Thank you.